Hello, I'm Stephanie Capehart. Um, like Jen um, alluded to, I'm a medical assistant. Um, in the office of medical assistant, you could be the person who's in the front checking you in. Um, you could be the person taking you back to get your vitals, which include height, weight, blood pressure, um, pulse respiration, and temperature. Uh, we're the, well, we're the, um, the professionals who are giving you your immunizations, like your flu shot or your COVID vaccine <laughs> um, lately. Um, that we've all been, been doing. Um, you can also be the one, um, the person who works on the sick side of the clinic, which means that we only see sick people. So we're swabbing you for COVID, swabbing you for flu, swabbing you for strep, or um, take, you know, pricking your finger for our um, model. Like um, the phlebotomist, we also can draw blood um, as well, but not um, most of the time in the outpatient settings, but we are um, the ones who um, can do that for you as well. As a medical assistant, you can also work in different specialties, such as cardiovascular, which is the heart, um, neurology, which um, deals with um, the brain, um, sleep medicine, um, pediatrics, which is what I love. I like the babies. Um, and then you can work um, anywhere from um, you know, newborns to um, folks. My oldest patient is 102. So um, you can work with any, any vast variety of patients um, in a medical assistant program. Um, like she alluded to, um, there are anatomy, physiology, and medical terminology are two classes that you definitely, definitely need to focus your, um, your time on um, because you're not only going to have to know what the human body does, but you need to know the words that are associated with the human body, including conditions and diseases and everything. So uh, what I'm going to show tonight um, is um, an EKG, which is an electrocardiogram, which is just takes um, a picture of the rhythm of the heart. Um, as the person is here. So I do have a mannequin. In class, you will be doing this, if not on a mannequin, on each other, because you want some live feedback. So I have, these are called, um, we use these called electrodes. So um, in the course of medical terminology, you will learn um, where the place is in cardiology or in the, where the hearts are. So everything is just placed. So you'll learn where all these leads go to and what, um, when they come out on the machine, what the actual um, rhythms mean to you. So this is your normal EKG machine. Everything is electronic. There are some facilities who have, that have um, the machines that connect straight to the computer so it automatically loads into the medical chart, which is right. These are the leads. These leads are marked so where you know where they go. Each lead are colorized and they have the um the location where they need to go. I'm just going to do this really quickly so that way you see how this works. Not gonna hook them up all the way. It's not gonna give me anything to submit. <laughs> I didn't know so on each machine, it does tell you step by step of how to do it. You'll turn it on. You put in general information. You'll go ahead and run it. It'll um, print out a sheet with the rhythms on it. You take it to your provider so they can interpret it. I'm um, gonna let you know if you need to do additional studies. They need to go. Um, somewhere else for other care. Once you're done, you just un just like you hooked your patient up, you unhook them again. And please, please make sure you take your leads off your patients. Nobody wants these later on and they're itching and wondering why, because you left the lead on. So like she alluded to, this is a new program here for HCC. I am your instructor for that. We meet three nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, the energy I have now is the energy you get Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so you'll have fun to learn how to be a medical assistant. Um, being a medical assistant is great because you can work in all facets of hospitals, inpatient, outpatient, and as well as other areas of um, of the health system that you that you're employed by, I'm employed by Meredith. So um, Meredith lets us go anywhere to help out anywhere in the health system. Um, lately, I've been working with the vaccine clinic to help 
um, immunize kids now. So I've worked everywhere that you can imagine as a medical assistant. So 